that's with Alan, and I have the honor of serving you as your Youth Council Clerk. And we have, again, with us the Cabbage Town Classical Youth Choir. The CCYC is made up of youth between the ages of 7 and 20, who largely come from inner city neighborhoods like Regent Park, Regent Park pardon me, and St. James Town. The choir is a not-for-profit corporation and has uh, as its mandate the idea of helping inner city youth be able to afford a classical musical education. And their director is here, uh, and he, uh, his name is Daniel Eby. So I'd like to thank you on behalf of Youth Council for coming and uh, singing for us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for the choir and me to be here today. We're delighted to have been offered this opportunity. Uh, at the piano today is our regular accompanist, Miss Helen Becquet. Connected, conducting the choir is Lena Vasilkova. And we will have the pleasure of singing two of our standard repertoire for you, uh, catchy tunes and very appropriate for the occasion, the Battle Hymn of the Republic and this little light of mine. I'm so proud of all of you, and I'm ecstatic to be part of this growing team. 
I've had the personal opportunity to watch each and every one of you grow in many different ways. Although so commonly said, uh, it is indeed true at this instant that without you, today would not be possible. <laughs> Secondly, to the many supporters, sponsors, affiliates, and our advisors who have stood by this team for the past 10 months and who have provided them with valuable advice and guidance, also making today possible. I thank you too. <laughs> to this group of distinguished young people sitting in front of me, you guys are indeed leaders. You've defeated a mandate that I've always fought for, which is ageism. You will work selfless, selflessly to support, represent, and revitalize your communities. You are a true representation of things to come. And finally, the many family and friends, constituents and colleagues of these elected youth councillors, you've played an amazing role in development and growth of these young leaders. It is because of you that they are. Youth councillors, please join me, first of all, in standing up and applauding your supporters. Margaret Thatcher once said, disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem, and personal satisfaction. This is a quote that I observe on a daily basis. Youth counselors, in this role, you will indeed encounter hardships. You will encounter criticism and many other items of the like. It is how you receive such that will define you as a leader in this community. Will you pursue what is common, or will you do what is right? I earnestly await the growth that you folks will experience over the next two years and for the years following. I want to take this moment to discuss some of the developments that we as a team have experienced and will continue to experience over the next two year term. This summer I took a life changing trip to the United Kingdom. During this trip, <laughs> during this trip I had the opportunity to meet with several youth organizations and youth councils spanning from the north of Scotland to the south of England. Through these visits I'm happy to, to announce that we are now in alliance with the Newcastle Youth Council in Northumberland, England, the Gateshead Youth Council also in Northumberland, England, and the Scottish Youth Parliament of Scotland its affiliates, and its members. Together we will work towards a common goal, revitalizing communities through the empowerment of young people. I'm also happy to announce that because of our strong alliance with the Newcastle Youth Council, we will be hosting them here during their 2013 visit to Canada. We are also in the process of planning a joint video conference between the CYCTO and the Newcastle Youth Council in the following three months. In addition to our international alliances, we are excited to begin our diversification program, which will see the expansion of this CYC into other Canadian municipalities. I trust that I have the support from each and every one of you when I say that these are exciting times for this organization. In the months to come, I will be here to support you and your cause. So long as you folks commit to an agenda centered on transparency, accountability, and doing what is right for your community. Before I leave, I want to extend to you a Scottish blessing that I learned while I was in Scotland. Now I'm not going to try and say it in Gaelic, because I would butcher it, but in short, Great health and every good blessing to each and every one of you.
Thank you.